Hello and welcome to Electron News Bytes, our show dedicated to updates from the world of electronics and semiconductors. I'm your host, Stuart Cording, the electronics reporter. In this month's show, I'll be looking at a new Arduino, exploring a new semiconductor fab, checking out new power profiling software, exploring an open source laptop, and highlighting some application specific MOSFETs. However, if you're in a hurry, use the description below this video to jump straight to the topics that are of interest to you. Otherwise, let's get started. Many Arduino users will have cut their teeth on the Arduino Uno, an 8-bit AVR-based entry-level board that helped kick off this open source hardware project. Now, a revamped version has been launched that overcomes the limited memory and performance of the Uno R3. Working with Renesis, Arduino has launched the Uno R4. The board features the 32-bit RA4M1 microcontroller that integrates an ARM Cortex-M4 core, running at 48 MHz and offering 32 kilobytes of SRAM and 256 kilobytes of flash memory, it enabled developers to support much more complex projects on this small form factor design. The USB interface has also been upgraded to USB-C, while the maximum power supply voltage increases to 24 volts. The I.O. also remains at 5 volts, while the board adds a CAN transceiver to simplify networking of multiple boards. The Arduino Uno R4 is available in two versions, the Uno R4 Minima and the Uno R4 Wi-Fi, which makes use of the Espressive S3 Wi-Fi module. The corona pandemic highlighted many weaknesses in the supply chain for semiconductors. Governments around the world, such as the European Parliament, have responded with the European CHIPS Act. Through EU pri private-public partnerships, they hope to boost the EU share of global semiconductor production from 10 to 20%. Invidian has announced the expansion of their Dresden fab that seeks 1 billion euros in funding for the 5 billion euro plant. The goal is to manufacture 300 millimeter wafers for smart power products, responding to the growth in demand for silicon for the megatrends of decarbonisation and digitalisation. Naturally, the new facility will itself focus on advanced digitisation, automation and environmentally friendly manufacturing. Construction should begin this year and, when complete, the plant will operate closely with the Infineon Villach site as one virtual fab. Another market impacted by the corona pandemic is the medical electronics industry. Social distancing coupled with proven security capabilities has encouraged the uptake of portable electronic devices for both monitoring and treatment. These devices feature batteries, often lithium iron, that can require a medically approved charger. Mascot, the Norwegian power design experts, have launched the new 4040Li to meet this need. This microcontroller-based device provides a three-stage charging profile that maximizes battery performance. The unit is certified to EN60601 and is also UL approved. 12 standard versions are available supporting anything from 3 to 14 cells covering 12.6 to 58.8 volts and 2 to 9 amps. A simple to read tricolor LED informs the user of the charging status and any errors during operation. The charger has a 2 pin IEC6320 input terminal and operates from 90 to 265 volts AC. This episode is sponsored by Elector. If you like electronics, you'll love the articles, projects, and insights you can access as an Elector member. Our global design community has hundreds of thousands of active members and more than a thousand contributing experts. You can go traditional and get our magazine delivered to your door, or go digital only and read only online. Either way, you get access to years of information and projects, as well as our active community. Follow the link below to sign up today.
Electronics manufacturers have been getting a lot of stick for their throwaway attitude to their products, with repairs often costing a good portion of the cost of a new device. MNT Research, a Berlin-based company promoting an open-source, accessible and modular digital future, is currently looking for backers for their MNT Reform laptop. Open Hardware Laptop is built around an NXP IMX8MQ featuring four 64-bit ARM Cortex-A53 cores fitted to a module with 4GB of LPDDR4 memory. Other CPU modules are also in development. Everything in the design can be replaced by the user wielding a screw screwdriver and even the battery cells, which clip into one of two inbuilt battery packs. The laptop has a full keyboard, trackball, gigabit ethernet, and a full HD 12.5 inch EDP display. If you want to go deeper into the design, the full schematics are also available, enabling you to extend the design or develop your own upgrades. Power MOSFETs are continuously improved to meet the demands of switching power applications, allowing ever higher power densities and efficiencies to be achieved. But these components are also used in a multitude of applications that are primarily focused on just turning power to a circuit or module on and off. This results in a different expectation for the Safe Operating Area, or SOA, in the saturation region. An experience range an Xperia's range of application-specific FETs, or AS FETs, concentrate on precisely this space. They've now launched the first AS FETs for hot-swapping applications in their Copper Clip LF Pack 88 package that reduces the footprint required on a circuit board by 60%. Just 8mm on a side, they're optimised for hot-swap and soft-start applications in advanced telecom and computing equipment and are qualified up to 175 degrees Celsius. The family includes the PSMN2R3, a 100V 2.3mm device, and the PSMN1R9, an 80V 1.9mm device targeting 48V power rails in servers and industrial applications. Powerful processors and system-on-chip technology often require complex design rules when connecting memories and other system components. Octavo, an in-system package solution provider, has announced their OSD62X family of SIPs, based around the Texas Instruments AM623 and AM625. These SOCs offer between 1 and 4 64-bit ARM Cortex-A53 cores, along with an ARM Cortex-M4F coprocessor and GPU. The Octavo SIPs integrate LPDDR4 memory, power management, oscillator, EEPROM, and a host of optional components and passives that deliver a ready-to-use processor solution. The devices target applications as diverse as IoT gateways and building automation to low-power systems and edge AI. Those interested in the SIP should contact their local representative to inquire about joining Octavo's beta program. Green energy initiatives such as energy storage solutions require more efficient power switches to ensure high efficiency and minimise waste heat generation. OnSemi has introduced a new range of 1200 volt insulated gate bipolar transistors or IGBTs that further reduce conduction and switching losses in such power infrastructure applications. Targeting solar inverters, uninterruptible power supplies, energy storage and power conversion for electric vehicle charging, these trench field stopped 7 devices are ideal for high voltage boost stages and the output of AC inverters. Thanks to faster switching, magnetic components can be reduced in size, lowering costs and increasing power density. These IGBTs are available in a range of TO247 packages and as bare dye. When it comes to low power design, it can be challenging to find a tool that is as comfortable measuring nanoamps as it is amps. Coitex OT Arc and OT Ace offer unparalleled dynamic range when it comes to measuring power, enabling developers to power profile applications from sleep mode up to full operation. Now the software environment for these two quadrant source measurement units has been updated with a host of new features. 
the OT3 software improves CSV export and network proxies, and the TCP server when using the hardware remotely for measurements. The units can also emulate batteries, enabling developers to explore how their circuit handles the discharge curve using the new OT battery toolbox. The latest software is available for download now. Sustainability is a growing concern amongst businesses, but achieving sustainability goals when sourcing components and equipment is challenging. Few suppliers make such information available in a manner that enables the environmental impact to be assessed. But B2B purchases say they would rather source sustainably if such products were easier to identify. Thankfully, things are starting to change thanks to the Better World range from RS Group. A range of products are now tagged with the Better World label, and with a single click, customers can explore a product's sustainability certification or energy label, all of which have been accredited by expert organisations. This will make it easier for RS customers, the world's engineers, innovators and problem solvers, to make more informed purchasing decisions. The labelling is being rolled out for customers in the UK initially, and will be rolled out to other geographies later. Automotive systems are growing in complexity. Even simple applications like steering, instrument cluster and light switches, along with external mirrors, require high-speed operation. Put simply, LIN is no longer fast enough. The new Clock Extension Peripheral IC, or CXPI, delivers 20 kilobits per second of multiplex communication and targets automotive body systems, even in new zonal architectures. Toshiba's TB9032FNG is an automotive qualified driver receiver IC, compliant with ISO 20794 and available in an SOP8 package. The device has a built-in sleep mode that reduces current consumption to a typical value of just 5 microamps during standby and includes a number of fault detection functions such as over temperature and low voltage detection. So that wraps it up for this month's episode of News Bytes. If you'd like to learn more about the technologies highlighted, check out the accompanying description and links. Should you have a news update you'd like to share, please drop me a line to tell me more. You'll find my contact details on the Elector website, or if you prefer, connect with me, Stuart Cording, on LinkedIn, or follow me on Twitter. While you're here, please like, subscribe to Elector TV Industry on YouTube and share our videos on whatever platforms you choose. Thanks for joining and hopefully we'll see you on Elector News Bites next time.